Donald Trump is accused of pressuring an employee to delete security footage at his Florida home in new criminal charges related to his alleged mishandling of classified files. The new indictment adds one count of willful retention of defense information and two of obstruction, making 40 charges in total in this case. Mr. Trump denies any wrongdoing and has called the prosecutor deranged. Uh, he is fighting multiple legal cases as he runs for president again. A staff member at the former US president's Mar-a-Lago estate, Carlos de Oliveira, has also now been indicted. He is alleged to have asked what could be done to delete the footage, which prosecutors say shows illegally held files being moved. Mr. Trump has pleaded not guilty alongside his close aide, Walt Nada, who also received two additional charges of obstruction on Thursday. The revised indictment outlines alleged efforts between Mr. Nada and Mr. De Oliveira, the property manager at mar lago to obstruct the Justice Department's investigation. According to the new court documents, Mr. Nana and Mr. D. Oliveira conspired to delete footage from security cameras after the Department of Justice issued a subpoena asking for surveillance footage of the basement where it said confidential documents were held. In the court documents, Mr. D. Oliveira is claimed to have texted another employee who was the director of information technology that the boss wanted the server deleted. The documents allege that Mr. D. Oliveira later met with the employee in a small it room, told him their conversation should remain private, then pressured the man into obliging his request after the employee told Mr. D. Oliveira that he did not have the authority. The indictment sets out a scene where it is claimed Mr. D. Oliveira walked through bushes and foliage at the edge of Mar-a-Lago, a leisure resort that had been known as the Winter White House, to get to the it room and meet Mr. Nuada. What are we going to do? Mr. D. Oliveira allegedly asked his coworker. A lawyer for Mr. D. Oliveira has declined to comment. The updated indictment alleges that Mr. Trump knowingly discussed a top secret document with biographers visiting Mar-a-Lago to interview him. The indictment says the document Mr. Trump revealed to the biographers contained possible plans to attack country, uh, which... Cannon and other outlets identified as Iran. Look what I found. Isn't it amazing? I have a big pile of papers. This thing just came up. Look, Mr. Trump allegedly said to one of his guests, the document's case is led by special prosecutor Jack Smith, who earlier in the day met with Mr. Trump's lawyers over a separate investigation into alleged efforts to overturn the results of the 2020 election. Mr. Trump's attorneys John Loro and Todd Blanche met officials at Mr. Smith's office in Washington, D.C., as the U.S. media reported. The former president said earlier this month that he expected to be indicted in that case, but said on Thursday his lawyers received no indication of timing. Mr. Trump dismissed the fresh charges in the document's case in an emailed statement from his 2020 for presidential campaign. Deranged Jack Smith knows that they have no case in his casting about for any way to salvage their illegal witch hunt. The statement read, The latest charge against Mr. Trump adds to a growing list of legal problems for the property and reality TV mogul. He currently awaits trial for a hush money case in which he faces 34 felony counts. He faces civil charges in a defamation case against author E. John Carroll. And Georgia prosecutors are still weighing whether or not to press charges over an alleged effort overturn the election results there. Former Trump aide Stephen Moore told the BBC the charges against the former president amounted to attacks which were serving to solidify his nomination in the Republican presidential primaries. The more they indict him, the more his popularity goes up with Republicans, he told BBC Radio 4's Today program.